All right. Now that we finally got that over with, that's a little bit of nastiness. That shit was disgusting. And I hope I never experienced it in real life. I got the wrong controller in my hand, by the way, folks. So I'm going to actually finally sit down after this game's been out for almost a year and you know, about four months. Well, actually, it might be two. I think PC version came out in August or September. Anyway, it's been a long time and I kept saying I'm going to finally do this and here I am. And I'm going to be playing modded Baldur's Gate 3. Of course, y'all know. I got to do this. I've been talking about this game forever. I've been hyping it up to everybody. We're going to play Variant Human. Like I said, this is modded. We're going to play Variant. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to play Regular Human. And the reason why I want to play Regular Human is because you get Light Armor and Shields and Halibirds. Well, pretty much you get Pole Arms. Um, the thing I didn't think about, though, was what subclass do I want to play? I got a bunch of modded ones. Like I've got Dragoon from my, it's supposed to be based off the Dragoons from Final Fantasy. Sentinel, I think that's also from Final Fantasy. Um, Red Mage is obviously, so is Magus. Um, you have Dragon Knight. Artificer, which isn't in the base game for some reason, even though they do mention Artificers. Um, kind of tempted to play this like I did my first one and get Warlock because Warlock in this game is really fun as you can see I have a bunch of like modest stuff I have some Pathfinder stuff too in this game which is going to be interesting I um, also have a bit of an expanded spell list if I wanted to get an elemental version of uh, Eldritch Blast that wasn't just force I could on um, the blood one just does slashing and so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get guidance. I also have a bunch of the official 5e ones also added in some, uh, some uh, custom homebrew stuff. That's the word I'm looking for. Like this. I don't even know what this does. You have Celestial. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to play Warlock. We're going to play this. We're going to play this a little different. We're going to play Paladin. And we're going to play Conquest. Because Conquest Paladin is probably more fun than it should be in this game. As for our background, we're going to go with. I didn't realize I added all of these. Man, I've got a whole lot of these. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, We're gonna go with rewarded. Uh, those will be fine as far as stats. My proficiency bonus is gonna be not in survival. We're gonna be putting it in. I don't wanna put it in athletics, but I can't. I wanna also put it in this, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, let's go with deception. Well, help be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. I wonder what other faces I have. <laughs> I have well. Oh, these are just different. Like some of these are just different people that are like in the game, like Elmister. Hmm. If I sound a little funny, I got like a head cold too. 
<laughs> Gortash. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Um, I wonder what other hairstyles I have. He looks like somebody, but I can't think of who. You know, we're going to go with that one because he looks like somebody I'm thinking of that I can't think of the name of. And we're going to give him a beard. I look like an anime version of my father. Neutral black. I'm gonna be naming him Tav. I actually use my keyboard for this. You need the, guardian. the Guardian doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna go Tiefling. Actually, nah. Go get the Yankee.
also I know I didn't pick any paladin spells. Um, I don't really have an idea for this character, but one thing I can say is this early in the game it really don't matter. Um, you don't really get anything spell wise from paladin that I feel like is make or break. It's not like a warlock where you kind of need to take out just blast. All right, now we gotta get out of here. One really cool thing about this game is like, if you take damage, they have these little pods everywhere. I wish I got to choose a different weapon to start with. Wait, do I not get Paladin spells at level one? I thought I did. Alright, there's something up there, but I'm not going to do it because there's it's, it's no real payoff for it for me. I never end up doing the full thing for that. Big big ass dragons. I ain't never realized it was two of them that flew past. That sword looks crazy. Abomination. This is your end. I don't know if it's lagging or like if it's just like me having like double vision. Cause I've got it on like OBS and then I've got it on my TV. If it is like, and I'll fix it in the next video, or whenever this comes up, I'll let I'll just have people like tell me. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Actually, better yet, I know what I can do. We might survive. We carry mind flayer parasites, unless we escape. Unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. After I finish this cutscene, I'm gonna do some setting stuff real quick and that might players. fix it. We can do nothing and first. I didn't mean to hit X, she was saying we gotta get out of here too. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. I'll also be bringing in some stuff that I remember from the beta. Like, um, this whole scene is different in the beta. Alright, now before I get into combat, I'm gonna change some stuff. Alright, hopefully I fixed, like, the little bit of lag I was having. I, I just decided to cap my frame rate. Time for some bloody work. Nice. I will ascend. All right, so this is Lazel. Lazel, she's a uh, gifted Yankee. Um, I don't really know how to explain them other than weird humans. Cause I think technically they were like a species of like humanoids before this, before they looked like that. Hope your soul is There's a lot of lore to it, but I'm not a hundred percent on it. Anyway, we just uh just took out some imps. They don't really have anything I want to keep. It's just a little bit of gold here and there, and it's not worth taking because it's only one or two pieces, and it's easy to make gold. It is really easy to make gold in this game. Now we gotta climb up these disgusting looking things. This always made me laugh right here when you see the door, it says sphincter. I was playing this with a friend of mine, and that was like the first thing she noticed, and I laughed. I was like, that, that would be something you would see. Now we can, like, kill these people, but I'm not gonna do it because it's kind of pointless. You! Get me out of this town city! We have no time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. 
This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Locked down. Alright. Um Gotta go find the key for this. Luckily for us it's not too far away. I'll take the scimitar too. How many hosts of this gate infected? Now, in this chest, there's like a bunch of like special items that I got from Muzz. I'll just show it real quick. I'm not gonna grab any of them, but there's like a whole lot of stuff that I just grabbed from like different mods that I thought would be cool, but I'm not gonna use them here. Anything like these, these special items, I'll buy them instead of getting them from here. Now, if you're playing on a controller or on like PS, PS5, I'm gonna set four because I was playing a PS4 that, uh, a couple days ago. And you tap in left stick, it does the. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know necessarily what to call it, but you can change your movement type. Or it's more like uh, it's more like point and click, I guess you could say. The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Now, those little worm looking things that we had in the cussings, those are uh, Mind Flare Parasites. All the main characters, for the most part, have one. And it lets you do certain stuff in the world, like this. You uh, connect to the uh, machine. Now, I have failed this, and it's really annoying to fail this because you just look dumb. The biomechanical brain of the console process your command. But there's other opportunities to do stuff like that. A shiver runs across your mind. There's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Now, coming up here, there's going to be a question that I have, and it's going to be more of a clarification thing. Um, because I'm not exactly sure myself. So, if you know the answer, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, extra crap. We're nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Yank. Can't afford to stay either. We need to change her spells or one of her spells. Big man. 
Also, I'm going to be changing some of their subclasses too from the default. Like uh, Shadowheart right now is a trickery domain. She should not be a trickery domain. Realistically, she should be a Twilight domain cleric because it just fits her thematically. It's still lagging a little bit, but good lord, rest in peace, that dude. <laughs> Damn, they just tore him apart. Literally. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Now the question I was having. We will deal with the gate after we escape. The question I was having is. Is the uh is the uh helm that I'm about to run over to a uh, uh, one of the spell jammer ones? I'm gonna show you why we need a shadow heart to uh, have command in a second. Shadow heart having command is gonna get us that guy's sword. If we're lucky. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. I really want this sword. I really, really want this sword. So, I'm safe, coming. This is gonna be one of the few times I'm gonna try and do it, but I'm doing it here. Really, really wanna have this guy's sword. So one of the things I got in a uh, mod for this was it plays a little bit more like regular 5e. A lot of things in this game don't use the D20 when it should, like uh, initiative doesn't. I think initiative just uses like a D8 and then it adds whatever modifiers. Obviously, here it is. But whatever. Victory awaits. No time to waste. Um, I think one real funny thing is that guy that we took the sword from, all he can do is punch. And it's not going to do a bunch of damage. So I think that's how people. It, there's a challenge in this game where people try to actually kill him. I think that's how they do it. But you don't actually need to fight everybody here. You just need to get to this. Finally made it out of Avernus. Also, by the way, that was Avernus. Damn, I hit the controller. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get myself back together. I have to take my headphones off to answer the door. 
We're going to be seeing them very soon, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't focus on them. That's kind of a thing with game design. They ain't even a spoiler. That's just something I noticed. Usually, if they focus on somebody, you're going to see them eventually. I know every time I see somebody wake up on a beach now, it reminds me of uh, Grand Theft Auto. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, I know the first thing I would do is check my body and make sure and I'm not like hurt or anything. <laughs> through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. And that's going to be why I leave off for this. As you can see, we landed in the middle of absolutely goddamn nowhere. All we have is our uh, flail or whatever the hell this thing is. We'll get rid of this. Actually, that one I can keep because all that is just... Um, stuff to like auto sell junk. Yeah, only thing we got is our flail and our word. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. It's like, nah, peace.